Chaos in Baltimore County after a call went out that an officer was down. Around 2 p.m. Monday afternoon, a resident in Perry Hall called 911 to report a suspicious vehicle on Linwood Way. The female officer who arrived on scene may have stumbled on a burglary in progress. Initial reports said she was shot, but police have not released specific details about how she died. The officer, just weeks shy of her four year anniversary within the department, was pronounced dead at MedStar Franklin Square Hospital less than an hour after that initial encounter. Hours later, Baltimore County police have scoured the area looking for suspects. The governor and police chief here call the situation terrible. Four year veteran, and unfortunately, life cut short. Uh, but uh, we're trying to work with a family who panicked residents tried desperately to go home after maneuvering blockades near Bel Air Road. This woman said her family tried to help the fallen officer. My oldest son is a um, practicing firefighter. He was first on the scene to be with her before Baltimore County got there. Residents were warned to shelter in place, including Stephanie's husband, who spoke to WJZ over the phone. Just all started very quickly with my son being outside and running inside the house frantically that a uh, police officer was just run over by a jeep and uh i kind of looked at him in disbelief and came out the front door and there she was laying in the middle of the road that man said his son who's a practicing firefighter went out rendered cpr now parts of bel air road are still blocked off we see officers going up and down and we must let you know that there are checkpoints throughout the neighborhoods we came through and we were checked at least three times for them to ensure that we were allowed to be here tonight a suspect or suspects still have not been caught reporting live in baltimore county i have a joy Burnett for wjz have a joy. Thank you. Kimberly Eaton joins us now live at Franklin Square Hospital where the officer was taken. She has the latest on this intense manhunt now underway. Kimberly. And Mary, just a few hours ago, police left here to escort the fallen officer's body to the medical examiner's office. Well, six miles away, investigators worked through the night to hunt down her killers. As night falls, hundreds of officers light up Baltimore County neighborhoods searching for a cop killer. You don't think it's going to happen in your neighborhood, and then it does. Neighbors locking down, ordered to stay inside as the suspects, considered armed and dangerous, now hide in the dark. But as the day winds down, the search only ramps up. We have aviation units, we have canine officers who are assisting. Uh, the dark will not hamper our investigation at any point. Baltimore County Police Spokesperson Corporal Sean Vincent says investigators have the SUV involved in the deadly crime, but not the suspects who were inside at the time. We're going to continue to see what exactly happened, uh, who was responsible for having this Jeep. He says the manhunt now focuses on a few miles in Perry Hall, the stretch of Bel Air Road from north of Ebenezer to Forge Road. Officers with guns drawn search backyards. Whether the murderers are still in the area, police don't know. Who they're looking for, they don't know. Answers that may come from the fallen officer's body camera footage. Sometimes it's excellent, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it answers questions, sometimes it leads to questions. Potential clues on video that police hope will point to the county's most wanted. We definitely want to find everybody who's responsible for this. And police say at this point they've interviewed neighbors, they've interviewed witnesses looking for any clues to help them narrow in on the suspects. Reporting live in Baltimore County tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly Eaton, let's go now to George Solis. George, you spoke with a lot of emotional parents today. Of course, the schools were locked down for quite a bit. Right, good evening, Vic. A lot of heavy hearts in the county tonight. A lot of parents having to explain to their children why they were in school well past their usual dismissal time. And while there were a number of happy reunions, there is far from a sense of relief here tonight. Perry Hall residents going through the motions Monday night. Just hectic, trying to get her home. And, yeah. Been a long day. Long day, yes, yes. The murder of a Baltimore County police officer while on the job, sparking panic for many families, especially those with children in area schools, including Perry Hall Elementary, that was instantly placed on alert, meaning no one was allowed in or out for hours. More concerned for her being in there and us to not be able to get to her. For many parents just now able to pick up their children, it's been a very emotional day, to say the least. I'm really lucky that I have my, my kid away here. <laughs> 
Aurora Martinez praising Baltimore County Schools for keeping her in the loop every step of the way, but it didn't stop her from fearing the worst. You are not safe. You don't know if you will see your kid again, you know. Seven Oaks, Gunpowder, and Kearney Elementary were also placed on alert, all of them less than three miles from the scene of the crime off nearby Bel Air Road. WJZ also learning from these parents that a nearby daycare close to the scene was put on lockdown. Initially, they weren't allowed to pick up their little one and then got stuck until police finally let them go home. It was terrifying, but the daycare did a good job of keeping us updated of what was going on. There was also a lot of confusion from those in the neighborhood who were trying to make their way home. They won't let us in our house. You can't drive by, you can't walk. <laughs> and even for those that are now finally together at home, there's still an unsettling feeling lingering after such a terrible tragedy. I'm not sure it's going to be a very productive evening either. I don't think anybody's going to sleep. And guys, nearby St. Joseph School was also put on lockdown per the diocese. Now, we did get an update from Baltimore County Schools saying that they will be working with police to determine if any closures will be made in the morning. Levin Perry Hall and I, George Solis, reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. Condolences have been pouring in from lawmakers and fellow law enforcement officials online. Acting Baltimore County Executive Fred Homan tweeting tonight, it is a sad day in Baltimore County as we mourn the loss of a police officer who died in the line of duty. We share our sorrow with her family and her extended family, the women and the men who put their lives on the line every day to keep our county safe. Governor Larry Hogan tweeting, we are deeply saddened to learn of the passing of a Baltimore County police officer. He goes on to say our prayers go out to this brave officer's family. Baltimore City Police officering, offering their heartfelt sympathy to the family, officers, and the community of the fallen Baltimore County officer who lost her life in the performance of her duties today. May she rest in peace. And the mayor of Havre de Grace ordered lights in the area to be lit in blue in honor of the fallen officer. The display will continue for the next two evenings.